Hi, hello, my name is Brumblebee Draws, or Brumblebee if that's easier. Today I'm doing a redraw of Yukiko from April 2020, I'm pretty sure. I get it. <laughs> I've been gone for two months. Well, I told you I might not upload consistently because of stupid school. Because it stresses me out when I get a new assignment every day and then they expect me to turn it in like a day later excuse me that is not how my brain works okay anyways while i was gone i opened up my commissions i have yet to get any but that's fine i don't really care that much but anyways i i opened them yay i'll put my link tree in the description um, I'm only accepting Amazon gift cards or e-gift cards because I can't have a PayPal right now because I am a minor, so can't have one. I asked my followers on Instagram what I should talk about for the video, and someone asked what new techniques I've learned for digital and traditional art. Uh, you might not know, but I actually got really into digital art in, like, the start of quarantine. Because I had a Chromebook that I asked for, and I, it was like a touchscreen one, and I really wanted to get into digital art, not traditional, digital art, because it looked so pretty and really cool, so I wanted to try and get on that level. Still not, I'm getting somewhere though, so that's good. I'd say some new techniques I've learned for uh, digital is the airbrush. I mean, it's like a, I guess it's a technique, but just the way I make it look nice and soft and make it, I guess, my form of rendering. I don't know. It just looks nice, so I like it. <laughs> um, I also learned how to shade this year. Not this year. Last year. Which is crazy to think about. I've been... Prof not professionally. Taking art seriously. For almost four years now. And last year is when I learned how to shade. That blows my mind. <laughs> how stupid can I be? How stupid can I be? Oh my goodness. For traditional? <laughs> I'd say... Just color theory in general, since I use my bright colors all the time. So I'd have to learn that if I want to shade, because the purple makes it look muddy sometimes. So, color theory, you know? And then I've also learned that I can use a, just a normal ballpoint pen for line art when it comes to watercolor. It doesn't fade, and it doesn't smear unless you immediately erase after and it, it, it just doesn't it's great i love it i love it also i learned that when you're erasing graphite on watercolor paper you should use a kneaded eraser just so you don't damage the paper which is i didn't know that until i watched a video on like watercolor art hacks or whatever i don't remember and then for both, I'd say the bright colors that I use and the bold white highlights that I do. I do bright colors, one, because they look pretty, and, um, and I just like the aesthetic, and two, one time when I transferred my drawing over onto my phone, it was really bright, and I was like, that looks cool, so I kept doing it. Now, on my computer, I don't, like the screen, it makes it, all my colors look a lot more dull. So I have to get the colors on my phone, and then swatch the colors onto my computer, so it looks nice, and I don't have wacky colors when I transfer it over to my phone. Which is a good thing, I'd say. Now, enough about art, because it's kind of boring sometimes. I recently finished the third season of SAO because Netflix gave me the English dub which makes me happy because I hate reading and I'm also just really 
slow at reading. So, I could just watch it and enjoy it. Now, at first, I my brain was hurting with all the fluck lights and soul stuff. It's, it's basically a virtual world where it uses your, like, brain and it, it just t it takes the fluck light is what they call it which is your soul they take that basically make you a character in a quote-unquote game and you're just you live there and it's so realistic which scares me like there's there was blood in this season and there hasn't been blood that much like maybe a little bit but not as much as there was in this one like oh my goodness kitty do for real chopped off someone's arms that's right he chopped off someone's arms and then he, near the end he gets his arm cut off which what the frick and then one of his literally his closest friend that he had in the game um quote unquote game <laughs> he freaking dies <laughs> I listen I cried for like at least three minutes because of what a cutie he was and I literally shipped them both together so hard because their bond is so great it's so amazing like I there's some points where I'm like kiss 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 because <laughs> they would get like so close to each other I'm like are you guys dating or something? Are you okay? But, uh, man, the very ending gets me. I cried. Ugh. And then, they leave me on a cliffhanger, too? Oh my goodness. Uh, that makes me so angry. Also, for JoJo, still reading part six, because uh, uh, school's getting in the way, so I forget to read it when I do have free time. Anyways, I'll stop talking because I'm annoying. Um, here, I'll be a YouTuber for a second. If you like what I'm drawing, and if you like the video in general, you should, you know, consider subscribing and liking the video. That'd be very nice of you.